Service to Purpose, the mission is you, day 34. I'm Brooks Holland, and I'm here again, last night in Toronto. And this one's gonna be kind of quick. My wife is already asleep. We get to get up here in, I don't know, about two hours and 45 minutes, maybe three hours, to head to the airport. So it's been an awesome trip, was out here to speak at Vince Del Monte's Mastermind. And really that's what I'm gonna share with you about today. Um, really it was my wife that was invited out here to speak. And you know I've known Vince for a couple years, but in the process of talking to him, she's like, hey, I think it'd be great for me to talk and then I wanna lead in to something that Brooks can talk about. And he was totally down with it. And so what was so huge for me about this is I mean, I've had, you know, I've spoken in like a few little workshops or things like that where I was talking about web stuff or something like that, but I've never really talked about this type of subject matter, and I've certainly never gotten up to speak for 45 minutes to an hour in front of 80 plus people, and really that's what it was, and it was such just the feedback, and yeah, it was just really such an awesome experience for me, really just showing up authentically and genuine um, really and that was really my goal because one of the biggest things and that's even why I'm doing this challenge is, is is really to meet people where they're at I mean there's a lot of people that haven't done any quote-unquote personal development or things like that and so that was the feedback I got which is really what was what my goal was was just to really open the awareness for a for a group of people and there was people of all different ages and levels and everything in there and it was just really cool to know that after all these years and all this pain and everything that I've went through and the work that I've done on myself, sharing that with others and really getting the feedback that yes, that that is a gift that I have and you know, helping pull people through. Because this is a pretty intense, I mean it's a seven figure business mastermind and really one of the things I touched on is that you know, we can have all the tactics, the skills, um, you know, the web pages, the funnels, the sales copy, all that stuff. But if we don't have belief sets, if we're not equipped emotionally, you know, to make those decisions, I mean, it's a pretty big thing for a lot of people when it comes to pricing. You know, a lot of times we bring our our old and our own money stories, our own scarcity, those types of things into a situation where they don't exist. For example, I got a buddy of mine. You know, he's, a, he's an older guy, older gentleman that had a construction business. And he's, you know, worked with a lot of really high-end clients. And he said sometimes it was tough for him because he's like, hey, you need a shower head. Well, here's the $30 one. But then they wanted, like, the $800 one with, like, gold-plated nipples or something on it, you know, when the water squirts out. And he couldn't fathom that. But that was him introducing his own scarcity, you know, his own stuff into the equation. And so it doesn't matter who gives you the best business plan, the best sales plan, the best any type of plan out there, it doesn't matter what it is, if you are not emotionally equipped to execute it, meaning a belief set. You know, like there's somebody, if they've been selling, you know, $200,000 cars, they have a belief set that people buy it. But if you've only been selling, you know, $10,000 cars to use car lot, you're gonna have a different belief set that people don't buy those cars. Just a very basic example there. Um, and yeah, that was, it was just really huge for me because again, just like these videos, and this is day 34, I mean, that was a huge step for me as far as not hiding and really, really putting myself out there in front of a room full of people where I only knew, you know, two, maybe three people in the entire room. And it was just, it was a, uh, it was really good. So I just want to thank everybody that was there for their feedback. I want to thank Vince for having me. I want to thank my wife, you know, for for believing in me and, and you know setting up that opportunity to allow me to speak. And it was just really cool to see her. She was a, uh, and I guess it's for me too. Like I, you know, she's never really seen that side of me. I mean, and so it was just really, it was just such a really good, positive day, and. By doing this type of work, and I've had a lot of ups and down days, as I definitely shared, but in doing this kind of work, like that's really what I want for you, is to be able to 
to really uncover your purpose, uncover your greatness, and be able to share it. And yeah, I mean, because your pain becomes your purpose. And that was the thing I was, I mean, I share stuff out of parents. I mean, I literally had three or four people come up to me and share some pretty important, you know, family stuff and how that was a huge help to them. And really what it was today, it was just, it was, it creates the ripple. It's going to, you know, people have a new sense of awareness. They're going to, you know, now four people, three or four people are going to go have different conversations with their family. And it's going to be huge for them. It's going to be huge for their family members. And that's going to have a ripple. Plus, they're not going to be carrying around those thousand pound invisible anchors. They're not going to be carrying around the anger, the angst, the, uh, you know, all that stuff with them. So there you have it, you know, day 34, you know, we're in the process of cleaning up, getting clarity and really consistency in action. I mean, those are the three core pillars. And the thing is, there's definitely going to be some overlap. So right now, that's what we've got those six core items. You know, let's just recap one every day. You got to decide and take responsibility Two, gallon of water. You can add lemons and cayenne pepper three eat real food, watch your portion sizes, four, an hour minimum per day of movement, exercise, get it in. Because we're taking good care of our bodies there, the fifth thing is no smoking, no alcohol, no weed, no unprescribed medications, and no porn. And the thing that I just added, I think it was like on day 27, 28, was the sixth and final thing, is if you haven't done it, take a news fast. No newspapers, no watching news on TV, no reading news on the internet. And the big thing here is just to be aware of it, no liking, commenting, or sharing any political or news related or hot topics on social media. Take your time, take your life back. So that sixth one, that's protecting this right here. Because with the reticular activation system and the brain going out there, if all you're doing is reading the crap in the news, that's all your brain's gonna be, you know, be looking for. And even on that video, I've gotten quite a few comments and feedback from people that yes, those that have done it have been, I mean, it's almost like an instantaneous level of happiness and joy increase when you cut, cut the news out of your life. Go back, that was like day 27, 28. It was a double feature video. But yes, cut that out. I am so much happier. And again, if anything really important happens, trust me, you'll find out about it. But mostly you're just gonna get, you know, hours a day back into your life. You're gonna feel good. You can fill that with positive stuff. And when you do that, your life starts to change big time. So there you have it. I'll be back tomorrow. I will be uh, back in San Diego tomorrow. Toronto, it's been a beautiful trip, beautiful city. Thanks again to Vince Del Monte for having my wife and I and thank you babe for this opportunity and again I will see you tomorrow here's a quick little recap of where we're at got the Toronto sign it's just it's really nice out here really nice downtown area alrighty I will see you tomorrow for day 35 and remember the mission is you